Is TypeScript better than JavaScript? Firstly, what is TypeScript? TypeScript is a programming language developed by Microsoft. It is a superset of JavaScript, which means all JavaScript code is valid TypeScript code, but TypeScript adds additional features to enhance the development experience. Great, thank you. Before we even get started digesting the appetizing details regarding TypeScript and JavaScript, let me voice my personal opinion on why I think you should learn TypeScript, especially if you are a JavaScript developer that is fairly new to programming. TypeScript almost turns JavaScript into a proper programming language. Wow, Gavin. That went down like a lead balloon. Well, that is the price you pay for having an opinion. I could have just appeased all JavaScript non-TypeScript developers viewing this video and said JavaScript is wonderful. But that would, in my opinion, be doing myself and the viewers a disservice. Gavin. Maybe just get into the video. Okay, good idea. There, I said it. So if you are a new programmer and are learning JavaScript, my advice is to go that extra distance and learn TypeScript. One of the reasons I say this is because it makes programming far less messy. And if you are working on a large project, using TypeScript instead of JavaScript will pay you dividends in the future. A great reason to learn TypeScript is if you are a relatively new programmer, a JavaScript developer, and have not yet learned TypeScript, you can get away with a lot of bad coding practices using JavaScript, whereas using TypeScript, you will be exposed to certain foundational programming principles. When programming in TypeScript, in many cases, your code simply won't transpile into JavaScript, i.e. the code will simply not run, if you have not obeyed certain rules while implementing your TypeScript code. This brings me to an essential point regarding TypeScript. In order to fully understand TypeScript, you need to understand the concept of transpiling code. The first thing to understand is that TypeScript code cannot, for example, run directly inside your browser. So it needs to be first transpiled into JavaScript code. The interpreter inside your browser cannot compile your TypeScript code directly into machine code, i.e. the ones and zeros your computer understands. So the TypeScript transpiler essentially translates your TypeScript code into JavaScript code so that it can run within, for example, the Node.js environment on the server or within browsers. So transpilation is similar to compilation, but transpilation translates a code base from one programming language to another, whereas compilation involves, for example, translating human readable code like JavaScript code or C sharp code into machine code, i.e. to machine language code, which are the ones and zeros that your computer understands in order to run the instructions detailed in your human readable code on your computer. So principally, both transpilation and compilation involve translating code from one form to another in order for your code to be understood and executed on your computer. By adding type safety and modern programming features, TypeScript helps developers write cleaner, more reliable and maintainable code. Here are some fundamental benefits inherent in using TypeScript. TypeScript is a strongly typed language and JavaScript is a dynamically typed language. So in JavaScript, the type of your variables are established at runtime based on the values assigned to your variables. In TypeScript, your variables must be explicitly defined at compile time before your TypeScript code is transpiled. For example, your variables must be, where appropriate, defined as primitive types like boolean, string, big int, number, or where appropriate, user-defined types. You may have created user-defined classes that you wish to instantiate in your code. So this rule where types need to be defined at compile time enforces type safety before the code can be deployed to production. With a strongly typed system, refactoring is safer because types will expose errors immediately. Types act as a form of documentation, providing immediate clarity on how functions and classes are supposed to work. TypeScript encourages developers to use modern JavaScript features, for example, ES6 plus modules, arrow functions, async await, while maintaining compatibility with older environments. TypeScript embraces abstraction and extensibility, where generic types and utility types enable flexible and reusable components while maintaining type safety. So here's a quick summary that includes some of the core benefits of TypeScript, static typing. 
Type-related errors can be preempted at compile time. This mitigates the risk of type-related runtime errors. Improved code readability. Explicit types make the code more understandable and easier to maintain. Enhanced IDE support provides powerful autocomplete refactoring and error checking features. Backward compatibility works seamlessly with existing JavaScript libraries and code bases. Improved debugging. Early error detection leads to cleaner, more reliable code. Object-oriented programming features offers classes, interfaces, and modules enabling better structure. Scalability facilitates the management of large, complex projects with strong typing and tooling. Community and ecosystem, well supported with tools, libraries, and an active developer community. Seamless integration, transpiles to JavaScript, ensuring compatibility with any JavaScript environment. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will, of course, be greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavinlon Digital. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. Please let me know in the comments section in which language do you prefer to code your applications plain JavaScript or TypeScript. Please let me know your reasons for your choice. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. So let's look at some of the core differences between JavaScript and TypeScript. TypeScript and JavaScript are closely related programming languages, but they have several differences that cater to different development needs. That's right, here's a summary. TypeScript is strongly typed or statically typed and allows you to define types explicitly, e.g. string, number, boolean. It supports interfaces, enums, and type annotations. JavaScript is dynamically typed, meaning types are inferred at runtime, and there's no need to define types explicitly. Compilation. TypeScript needs to be compiled to JavaScript or transpiled to JavaScript using the TypeScript compiler, TSC, because browsers do not understand TypeScript. JavaScript does not require compilation and can be executed directly in web browsers or environments like Node.js. Syntax features. TypeScript introduces additional features such as interfaces and type aliases, generics, decorators, access modifiers, for example, private, public, protected, utility types like partial, read-only, etc. JavaScript is limited to the language features defined by the latest ECMAScript standards. Error checking. TypeScript catches errors at compile time, allowing developers to catch bugs early. In JavaScript, errors are detected only at runtime, which may lead to debugging issues in production. Tooling and IDE support. TypeScript has excellent tooling support with autocompletion, type checking, and refactoring in modern IDEs. JavaScript, while it has good tooling support, it lacks type information, so autocompletion and refactoring might not be as robust. Backward compatibility. TypeScript is compatible with JavaScript, any valid JavaScript code is valid TypeScript code. JavaScript cannot directly use TypeScript-specific features without removing or transpiling them. Popularity and adoption. TypeScript is favored for large-scale applications due to its maintainability and scalability. JavaScript is preferred for smaller projects or quick prototyping due to its simplicity. Learning curve. TypeScript has a slightly steeper learning curve because of its additional features and the need to understand type systems. JavaScript is easier to learn, especially for beginners, due to its straightforward nature. Use cases. TypeScript is ideal. TypeScript is ideal for enterprise applications, teams, and multiple developers, or projects requiring long-term maintenance. JavaScript is suitable for small projects, quick prototypes, and developers seeking a lighter weight language. In essence, TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript with optional static typing and enhanced tooling. It brings more structure and error prevention, but requires additional setup and understanding. Excellent. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to ring that bell so that you'll be notified of future content. 
Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Lon Digital. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. Please let me know in the comments section in which language do you prefer to code your applications, plain JavaScript or TypeScript. Please let me know the reasons for your choice. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care. Let me voice, especially if you are a driver. I could have just appeared if you had not. In JavaScript, errors are detected only at runtime, which may lead to debugging issues in production. JavaScript has an easier to learn. Ta 